I've worked at Optimum Energy now for four and a half years. Uh, before this, uh, I had spent five years working at BW Technologies as a customer service rep, uh, and then I left BW uh, for another distributor, um, but that wasn't quite a great fit for me. Um, and then when I had the opportunity to work with Optimum, who had been a customer of mine previously when I was at BW, uh, I jumped on the chance to come work for Optimum. Optimum brought on BW, who got to be close to 10 years ago. The BW and the gas detection line is uh, probably our second or third highest uh, product line. Uh, I worked there for five years uh, and just you know, learned it all, being on the, the desk with that, talking to the sales managers and the customers. Honeywell Analytics uh, and BW Technologies, uh, who are one and the same now, it's BW Technologies by Honeywell, uh, offer a training program in both of their facilities, one in Cal BW's facility in Calgary, Alberta, uh, and one at Honeywell's facility in Lincolnshire, Illinois. I've gone through uh, BW's and Honeywell Analytics factory training uh, repeatedly. I think I'm up to four or five times now uh, in the last 12 years. Wow. Uh, so, um, I've had it all. I, every time a new unit comes out, I make sure that uh, I get any formal training that's offered uh, and also grab a new unit and spend some time playing with it. So I know how to do bump tests and calibrations and regular maintenance and repairs. Since I first got into working with BW, gas detections changed quite a bit. Uh, as far as the portable side especially, which is what I specialize in, uh, portable safety gas detectors were large. Um, quite large and heavy uh, when I first started and just in the last 12 years they've gone down to you know the size of the micro clip which is you know two or three inches and weigh four ounces um, whereas you know when I started they were seven eight ten inches and weighed a pound yeah. um, type thing um, the technology is improved so uh, your response times on the sensors um, you know, this overall size, um, the things that they can get the detector to tell you now as far as LCD screens and um, pictures and software improvements, um, all of those, like a lot of electronics, cell phones and everything included, have made huge strides in the last few years. Gas detection users uh, are a wide range of people. Um, really popular in oil and gas, you know, for multi-unit purchases, oil and gas is a huge industry for them but other industries too, uh, fire departments, police departments, um, pulp and paper mills, um, municipalities, so wastewater treatment plants, that type of thing, uh, utilities, um, schools even, um, anyone that has um, any kind of area that has potentially the hazard for a toxic or flammable gas um, will require a gas detector at some point. Uh, grain silos, um, anything that's considered a confined space by OSHA standards has to be tested uh, for air quality before they enter uh, and usually during their time in that space as well. Uh, everybody knows BW, the color yellow stands out and that's why they've gone for it. Uh, I go out to customer sites periodically and we'll you know, go through basic operation one-on-one -on -one with a customer, um, docking station operation, software setup, um, we're more than happy to go on site. Um, we're happy to do that with them or walk through things over the phone with people, you know, Skype with them, whatever's required. I'm happy to, to train our customers just as well as the staff.